Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And from all of us here at Wimbledon, may I offer you a very warm welcome to Middle Sunday, day seven of the Championships 2023. Granola on top, and I like some chia seeds. Honestly, the most basic breakfast, but it's acai bowl. It's a superfood, lots of antioxidants, so it's quite a healthy breakfast. Alrighty, morning everyone. Today is a Saturday, and welcome to a week in my life. Quite a few fun days that I've got ahead. Before we get to that, I've been contemplating about this YouTube channel, in which direction I want to take it in. I know this channel started as a me fueling my side passion and hobby. If you go back to my first video, it was literally just a montage of my first trip to London when I was giving my PLAP exam and that was back in 2017 and then it kind of changed directions to making videos about club you know helping international medical graduates because there wasn't much information out there because i was struggling to find information myself so i thought you know what i'll just put it all in one place so if anyone were to ever be in my shoes then they would have all the information in one place if there is anything that there needs to be a full-fledged video on please feel free to comment down below and i will obviously consider doing it having said that obviously i'm in a phase in my life where I am trying to figure out balance myself working full-time as a doctor and also obviously having the social media page on the side I absolutely love it I want to figure out where I am going to go with this channel and the direction that is screaming the most to me is about work-life balance I think in medical profession there's nothing called work-life balance and regardless of which country you go to because that's not how it's served to you on a platter you need to create work-life balance it's not that something that comes along with the profession there are lots of profession where you are able to have that work-life balance even without demanding for it but in medical profession you definitely need to demand for it and it's something that you need to have boundaries about and i think that's the direction where i want to take this channel having said that i think that's the direction this channel has naturally taken its course on if you realize even on instagram and even on my youtube channel a lot of my videos are about having things outside of work and that's what i want to pursue for myself and also i want to set an example for you know younger generations of medical students or junior doctors who take up this profession and I don't want them to say no to this profession because they're worried if they will be able to do things outside of their work. I want to show them that it is possible. Obviously it's difficult but I want to set an example and that's basically the direction where this channel is headed towards. It's been headed towards for the last one year but I'm going to actively be putting out videos about that and yeah show you what life of a doctor looks like, life of a psychiatrist looks like. I haven't said that word. I've always said that I'm a psychiatry trainee or psychiatry resident but yeah so I've completely obviously my core training so I'm going to be calling myself a psychiatrist you know there's a lot of stigma attached to psychiatry and mental health people don't want to pick that speciality for various reasons so that's where this channel is headed towards I hope you're going to stick by and join me along on this journey I'm not going to yap anymore I will tell you what the plan for today is I am home alone which I absolutely love I love my weekends to myself at least during the day at home and then I meet my husband somewhere outside later on in the evening and I have planned to film two videos which are long format videos for youtube so i'm going to get ready in a bit and film that i just looked at the screen and i've been talking for 10 freaking minutes i need to eat my food i'm going to journal for a bit and then i'm going to get cracking with filming my videos and then i'll take you guys along and show you what's in store for the entire week I'm done filming two of my videos, which are long format videos. Hopefully they will come out before this one. Let's do a quick outfit check before I go and hang out on this beautiful, sorry, it's not actually beautiful, it's freaking raining and gloomy, but yeah, it's quite humid and hot. Let's do a quick outfit check. So this is a ripped crop top from Uniqlo. These ones are actually 12 years old. I bought this in my second MBBS year from Forever 21. It's that old, I quite like it. It's very loose and comfortable. 
it's got nice pockets and I've got this tote bag very cute and nice it's from All Saints and I've got only shades that I use I've got three shades but I love this one I've been using it for almost two years typical cat eye black shades which is something that suits my face the plan is to go meet Tina outside the tube station and then we are going to go to Notting Hill haven't been to Portobello market in a really long time so I'm quite excited so and I'll take you along I don't think I've taken you along to Notting Hill side in London in my vlog so let's go We are up and about in Notting Hill. You know what I told myself today in terms of what my goal for this vlog is? That I'm going to be putting out my camera much more out in the public and not feel shy while filming. Goal is to film while there are people around me and crossing me. See, there are people around me. Story. We were supposed to come here for lunch today with one of Dean's friends. That sort of didn't work out. They said that if we cancel it last moment, then we are going to lose the booking obviously but also money from the car. So Dean is like, you know what, let's just go for it. And I'm being very brave while filming in public. I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream Then you walk past me It is Wimbledon day I am fully ready I've got two reels that I put out of Get Ready With Me They're actually on TikTok I don't know if they'll make it to Instagram or not I've got this dress which is from Reese Footwear is from Dune I'll link everything down below if you're interested Chain is from Aurelia These earrings are from H&M and now I've got my shades, which are my all-time favorite. I've literally been using them for the last two years. Got my big bag. So there's quite a few interesting matches today in Center Court. And we're so glad we got these tickets. Forever grateful. Yay, let's go. <laughs> this feels like Christmas to me. Not the coffee, the fact that we are walking to Wimbledon. Always blows my mind. <laughs> we are in! Yay! We are in! 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 Excited for the games to begin. We are going to go grab some strawberries and creams. And creams are here. Cause you say you don't mean me, 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 me. Isn't it summer? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And from all of us here at Wimbledon, may I offer you a very warm welcome to Middle Sunday, day seven of the Championships 2023. Play gets underway on courts 2 to 18 in around 10 minutes time at 11. Number one court follows at 1 and then our centre court programme begins at 1.30. excited to be back at center go on. no you have to say okay, something okay, 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 okay. 
Oh, I see the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'm super glad to be back at Santa Court. Are we gonna get some pims? Pims on the hill. How are your strawberries? 10 out of 10. Today is a Monday and it's 8.30 a.m. and I'm on my way to work. I'm taking you guys along with me and film as much as possible. I always say this when I'm going into work because you never know. We shall see how the day goes along. On Mondays, we have assessment days, new assessment days. It starts at 9 a.m. and finishes at 1 p.m. Assessing for eating disorders, of course, because that's where I'm working. And I'll talk a little more about it and take you guys along and explain how the whole assessment system and everything works and how my week goes along. We shall see how it goes. This is my fit for the day wearing this nice loose breezy dress which is modest length and sneakers got this denim jacket only until i get to walk once i'm at work i'm going to take it off it looks a bit unprofessional while you're seeing patients with denim stuff and i've got my tote bag got this from amazon actually and my backpack which was given to me from my trust <laughs> Cam's eating disorder outpatient assessment takes place over an entire morning on Mondays and Thursdays in our team. The young person and their whole family is invited to take part in the assessment. 9 to 9.30 am, we meet as a team and discuss the case with the consultant. At 9.30 am, the lead clinician and the assistant psychologist see the young person with their family. In this one hour, we would ask about the young person's current concerns and the things their parents are concerned about, particularly in relation to eating, and how these concerns developed and other mental health concerns. At around 10.30 am, we then break out into two groups in two separate rooms where in one room the lead clinician then sees the young person alone to talk in detail about things that the young person might not have felt comfortable to talk about in front of their parents. Whereas the assistant psychologist stays with the parents in the other room and gets details about the family structure, young person's development, including milestones, other concerns and their current functioning in everyday activities. At 11 am, the young person has a physical health assessment given the serious and complex implications each disorders have on not just mental health but also on one's physical health. During this time from 11 to 12.30 pm, we meet back as a team with the consultant and discuss if the young person is for our services and what their care plan will be. From 12.30 pm to 1 pm, we then feed back to the family what we have discussed and decided as a team. So essentially, an entire morning goes into eating disorder assessment given how complex they are. However, the good thing is that the family leaves the clinic knowing the diagnosis or we refer them to the right services at the end of the assessment. So we have assessment mornings on Mondays and Thursdays every week. I'm back from work. Did not film very much because it was a rather busy day. But I'm off to meet my girlfriend, Matali, for dinner. So it's a girls' dinner date kind of vibe. We are going to Gordon Ramsay's. It's a pizza place, I think. She's made the reservation. She's taken the responsibility this time, which she mostly all the time does. So yeah, I thought I'd do a fit check and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Thrifted denim jacket, which is from FC UK. Long dress, which you've seen multiple times on my Instagram. So this one's from Uniqlo and I'm gonna wear some flats because it's quite warm outside and i've got my cute little tote bag and ignore the mess that's on the bed we're good to go so i'll take you along for this dinner date with me and madali also Djokovic won his match yay fourth round done so he's off to the quarterfinals i'm off to celebrate that with my girlfriend although she doesn't understand tennis at all but off we go i only came over because all my friends said i should get up Smile and not at all of the small talk, but keep looking for the door. Then cut to you, cross the room in your vintage leaving. 
goodbyes What do I do with this view? Wait, hold up Do you have any final words to say? I mean, we look like sisters I should have filmed them actually I mean, like, yes. subscribe to my channel I should have said But these uh, few girls who were celebrating oh, yeah. their birthday One of their friends' birthday They said that we look like sisters mm. Yay! <laughs> my sister's gonna watch this and be like, excuse me. This is a meet cute. Oh my god, like Rachel McAdams in the notebook. Cause I keep on staring and the whole world stops. Theme song is playing. Morning, guys. It's early hours of Tuesday. And it is Taylor Swift Day. Luckily, I work from home every Tuesday, which is perfectly coincided with me buying ERA store tickets. So fingers crossed it works out. It will be my childhood dream come true. The Swifty in me is going to lose it. One hour later. Cate oh, this is category. This is... Oh, so sh should we go for orange one then? Category OR. Um, so we did not get the Paris tickets of ERA store. There's been a very huge fuck up. There was another sale which was to happen an hour or so later. Now somehow Ticketmaster France website just stopped accepting my login and my password. So despite having a code which you require for booking the ERA store for Taylor Swift concert tickets, I did not get tickets. We have got another chance which is Stockholm in the afternoon because I've got code for Stockholm as well. Third time such a played the odds and applied to every single European country she's traveling to next year. And so I got codes for three different countries and I'm on waitlist for Madrid so we'll see when this camera switches on if I'm smiling or not how do I find seats what, what did you save now see it on there you'll have a confirmation here's your order number can you see the seat now we've got two days later All right, so today is a Friday. Just made myself breakfast as you guys saw. Just getting some work done. I just wanted to end this video here. This was a week in my life. I know there was lots of tennis in this week's vlog. I know either we were just watching Wimbledon live or we were watching Wimbledon from home. So if you're not into tennis, then my apologies. But also if you're not into tennis, why you're not into tennis? Hopefully this converts you into liking tennis. I tried to film as much as possible. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. If you did, then you know the drill. Give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel we're almost reaching 40,000 subscribers which is a huge milestone for all of us and we built this community from ground level zero so quite happy and proud about it and yeah i'm gonna stop yapping this is the end and i'll see you next week bye you wanna say bye bye you'll see dean in the 40,000 subscriber question you'll see dean in the 40,000 subscriber q a very very soon toodles bye see ya